Hello and welcome to Steel and Wood. So today I'd like to do a quick video on our most recent uh, fishing outing where we went to Lake Winfield Scott in the North Georgia mountains on uh, Memorial Day weekend. So a little bit about the lake. Uh, it's a smaller lake. Uh, I'd never been to it before. It was suggested to me by uh, someone that I work with. And so I figured, you know, I looked around the area and we, we wanted to go somewhere that wouldn't be overcrowded for, you know, Memorial Day and all that kind of stuff. So we uh, decided to check it out. Had some beautiful views, uh, you know, driving up there. <clears throat> and so it's about two hours from Atlanta. Uh, there were, you know, a few people out on the lake we have a, a raft, uh, an Intex five-person raft, and um, so we took that out, got it all blown up and everything, and and uh, we're going to take it out on the lake. Uh, there was maybe two or three people on, you know, either kayaks or canoes, and so we went out on the lake. It was pretty windy, so I was fighting it a lot of the time to... Uh, to keep us going in the right direction uh, and we had to for sure you had to have your anchor with you or you're just gonna get blown all over the place it was about uh, 60 degrees 62 somewhere around there uh, so uh, it may have been a little cool still the water was pretty pretty cold it may have been a little cool to to catch much but uh, it was a nice area uh, the it had nice views on the lake only you know issue that we had is they it is a dammed lake and I believe either the the dam releasing or something they were making there was this alarm that kept going off that was kind of annoying and then there's a road that goes kind of a not a main road you know you're pretty much two lane roads up there but a pretty frequently used road right next to the lake uh, so that created some noise but other than that it was it was nice we fished uh, for a few hours we tooled around the lake and <clears throat> uh, eventually we were able to catch a couple I caught one uh, largemouth bass and my wife caught one largemouth bass so that's why I think either it, there are more trout in that lake than bass or or it was still just too too chilly but we ended up going to the the end of the lake uh, where we caught those fish was the end of the lake where the wind was blowing uh, I remembered my uh, one of my best friends Steve had told me that you know if you've got a good wind you want to go to the the end of the lake where towards where the wind is blowing towards because it blows all the bait fish that direction the current will blow all the you know take all the bait fish that direction and the other fish will follow and it seemed to work we went over there made a few um, casts you know and, and I couldn't believe it uh, my wife just happened to be taking some video for the for the channel just taking a video of me you know maybe throwing a couple casts or something first cast that she uh, recorded me on caught you know I caught that that bass that I caught which was pretty good size fish on seriously seriously God. Stay down. <laughs> yeah. Fish on, brother. Woo! Nice. That's a good one. <sighs> All right. There we go. Let me say we stay a little bit longer. <laughs> Nice. Excellent. First luck we've had all day. 
we have been out here for quite some time. Beautiful. Yeah, first one of the day. Wow. And then the one, the other one that you see a, a photo of me holding up was the one that she caught. I think she caught that bass two casts after I caught mine. You know, it was a, um, she almost had it the first cast. She could see it following it. Then it kind of went away. She cast back over there and it ate it right up. So, um, what we were using, uh, we both have ugly stick GX2 rods. Mine is a, uh, I believe a seven foot. And we have the Daiwa Revros LT2500 reels. So we basically have a matching set rod and reel. She uses the, um, the six foot version because she, you know, she's smaller. Uh, and there are two things that we were throwing out there as far as bait. One was uh, one of my best friends, Andrew, had sent some of these top water lures. They're the Rapala jointed lures. And they basically are made out of balsa wood and they float on top and, and as you reel, it gives the, the swimming action. Uh, I, I was throwing that, it wasn't really um, catching anything or even getting any nibbles or anything, so I decided to go with my tried and true that my buddy Steve showed me a long time ago and I've used it all the time ever since. Every, every time I go out fishing I use this at least for a while. And that is one of these green lizards, these soft plastic lizards from Zoom. I have the, this is the watermelon seed color five inch lizard, and then this is your green pumpkin, just to have your lighter and darker colors. They're not uh, too much different than each other, but you can see as I shine the light on them that this one is much brighter uh, than this one. Usually I'll fish the, the green pumpkin. Um, but you know either one seems to work and this is what they look like just a soft plastic lizard and you just Texas rig Texas rig it so if you check it out on the end of my line here or end of my rod because I still have it on there this is the green pumpkin you have a Texas rig the green lizard and then a small uh, weight and basically this will will help it stay on the bottom you know go to the bottom and as you're reeling you know you reel a little bit stop give it a little jerk stop reel a little more you know that kind of thing and it's supposed to mimic the the movement of an injured um, animal and uh, we have salamanders here and in Virginia and uh, skinks so this is not something that they wouldn't be used to seeing and it I mean it works like a charm try it out uh, I would I couldn't believe the amount of fish I was catching off of this uh, in, in some of the times that I've gone before we had a camping trip last September uh, where the the it was basically a, a tenter uh, rental and they had canoes and a, and a lake on the you know for us to use on the property and I caught we all we did all day was throw those green lizards with a with a two watt hook a two watt uh, uh, shouldered hook extra wide gap um, and through those all day I caught five and she caught five and this lake wasn't that big you know but you know that's the the key to it that I find is you find a lake 
that nobody really knows about or very few people fish it and then you don't end up with you know everything's taken out of there and most of the time I don't take fish anyway um, unless you know of course we want to make some for dinner or whatever but usually I don't end up taking them I just go out there and catch them and, and toss them back but uh, as far as as the that lake goes um, there was also a really nice uh, campground right there as part of it where they had I think 30 sites and the, this they had RV you know smaller RV and a couple of tent specific sites to camp at and we you know kind of drove around the loop that was pretty nice they have a boat ramp um, that's pretty steep <laughs> honestly uh, and um, yeah so we had a great time I could recommend that lake I'd say in addition to another one say if you were going to one a larger one nearby or you know you had another one in mind throw that in on the way or something like that because it if it's if it's on the way Lake Winfield Scott uh, because it is pretty small and you can pretty much fish the entire lake going along the shore in you know a couple hours or so if you want a full day of fishing then <clears throat> then you know you have to add another lake on or something like that so anyway thank you for watching my videos hopefully we'll with the weather warming up we'll be able to get some more of these fishing videos out and I wasn't able to take much video uh, while I was there just because um, you know all I have is for camera is my phone and I don't you can't cast and reel and hold your phone at the same time and all this stuff so I'm working on trying to get something figured out for that maybe get a, a GoPro or or some sort of mount or something like that but uh, uh, last thing um, if you've never fished in a raft you've got to try it if you're if you fish in canoes or kayaks and then you fish in a raft you'll never go back <laughs> or you know probably not uh, you get on a raft in a in a in a calm lake where you don't have to worry about the current as much and controlling your your turns and tight turns and all that kind of stuff it, it's a little bigger and more cumbersome but it's miles ahead more comfortable I mean, you can lay down in that thing and go to sleep pretty much. Um, like I said, we have a five-person raft. Generally, I say a, a, for two people, you get a four-person, right? It's just like a tent or anything else. Two people, when they say it's for two people, it means two people crammed together. So you want to have some space to spread out. But anyway, like I said, uh, thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Um, like and subscribe if you uh, enjoy my content and uh, uh, leave a comment down below what what's some of your favorite uh, bass fishing lures I hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend and until next time I'm signing off take care